Hello guys, Pro of 2010 with you today and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass your website blockers at home work, not, well, why would it be at home, at school work, or any other place that I may be installed at. So, uh, what we're going to do is, now I have to warn you before we start, uh, that this is not going to allow you to f browse the full website, it just allows you to view that specific page. So, if you're trying to find some information on something and the website is blocked, you can actually access that website uh, by using the... Uh, the cash and uh, well you'll see what I mean so let's go to Google uh, my school Wikipedia is blocked so when I try to do my research paper on something uh, I never have enough information because that website is simply blocked so let's do let's see uh, Newton's third law and sure enough Wikipedia shows up but for me it Wikipedia is blocked so when I try to click on it something shows up and it says could not access the website simply because I have a website blocker installed. So what would what you would do is be, before um, what you would do is you would copy the link down below. So let's copy this whole entire link. Right click, copy. We're gonna go into the search box, type in cache colon and then paste our link. So right click and paste, and then you would press go. This will automatically direct you to the cache version of the website. Now, when I try to go here, you said, oh, Mitch, why don't you just click on this? I mean, right now it works, but at school, for me, this doesn't work. Uh, it's still blocked, so I have to actually type out the word cache and then paste the link in there, and then I can view the link as if I were on there. So, I hope this was helpful. Maybe you can use it for your own reasons. I don't know why, but it does not allow you to actually browse the full website. It just shows that, that page as it was a couple days ago whenever we took the snapshot. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments sections below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.